One of the things that we work with a lot here in the JLab are what we call the file lockers and the file servers. In order to connect to a file locker or a file server, you must A, be in the journalism lab or be on one of the journalism uh, networks. I'm on Finder. I see Finder. If you're not on Finder, you can either click on the little Finder guy or just click on the desktop. It'll take you into Finder. I'll click on Go and I'm going to drag down to Network. And what happens is I see a, a, a lot of different things that are on my um, uh, computer screen right now. In this particular area, you may see five or six file lockers or different computers. If you don't see the one that you want, you can always click on All, and it will give you a list of all the machines that are available. And by the way, it looks different if you click on the different icons you can say I want to look in you know the well you you can keep changing the way that these things look um, a couple of ground rules with the file locker number one um, if you're a buttercup person or an Elvis person or we have no does, nimrods. You, I'm looking for things that say file locker. Not everything is a file locker, but the ones that say file locker, these are items that you can log on to and store items. Only 10 people at a time can log on to a file locker. If there's more than 10 people connected to your file locker, the 11th person's not going to be able to access it. So when you're through with a file locker, you want to disconnect from it. I'm going to connect to Elvis and there's a couple of ways of doing that. I should be able to double click and it will try to contact it and I can come up here and I can probably double click on where it says Elvis file locker and I'll go ahead and do it and it has connected. In fact I see the little Elvis icon way over here. I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to disconnect by clicking on the eject button and once again I'm going to connect to Elvis this time I'm going to say uh, what I want to do is connect using the connect as button you always tell it you're a guest and again I'll say connect and it's brought this thing up I have to double click again and once again I'm connected we have all the uh, the names of the folders and at this point in time there's only two but all the folders that are currently on Elvis are there. Okay, now anything that you put on a file locker is public because you can click and look inside. You you know you know various you can store things inside someone else's folder or whatever. That's not really a problem. It hasn't been a problem in the past, at least things that were done maliciously but you have to remember this is not private storage by any stretch of the imagination this is public but it is a very convenient online storage facility